10 signs that you may need a new RV coming up right now. Hello there, I am Dr. Dave, also known as the RV Dummy, and thank you so much for being with me here. Um, I've been RVing for about two and a half years now, and when I first got my RV, I knew nothing, I mean nothing about RVs, and over the past two and a half years, I've learned enough to help other people. I still call myself the RV Dummy just because I certainly don't know everything. So I'm going to be sharing with you right now 10 signs that you may need a brand new or a new RV. Let's say a new RV. It does not have to be brand new. Before I do, again, I want to thank you so much for being with me. And also, many of you are still asking me about my free newsletter that comes out every two weeks. It's called Dave Discovers. It's got a really a lot of just really cool life tips in there. So if you want to join, it's totally free. Go to join rvdummy.com comes out every two weeks i never spam you and i never share your email address with anybody it's totally safe with me now let's get into 10 signs that you may need a new rv these are not in any order number one is no more important than number 10 but i've got 10 of them for you right now so let's get right into them. number one is that maybe your needs have changed. When you first got your original RV, maybe you didn't do enough research, maybe the way you RV now is different, um, maybe you wanna boondock more, maybe you wanna uh, explore some more non-campground type land, like be it BLM land, um, all kind of things like that. Just people need, people's needs change, and if you feel that your RV is no longer meeting your needs, well, maybe now's the time to sell it and get a new one for you. There's not a, there's no better feeling. And, and again, when I say new, I do not mean new right off the um, showroom floor. I mean, just a new, it could be a used one. And I recommend this actually, a couple years old, um, low mileage, it's been taken care of in a, a really a meticulous way. That's probably the best, but we'll get into that. Um, number two, if your fuel costs are just getting out of hand and it's too expensive, then you might want to, you might really want to think about upgrading to a different type of RV. And the newer ones, they're definitely more fuel efficient than the older RVs. But okay, so many things come into play. I mean, if you're driving around in a in a class A, one of these humongous buses, I mean, you're probably talking more like how many gallons per mile as opposed to miles per gallon. I mean, those things just eat gas like crazy. And of course, you know, the, the really large, large fifth wheels you're towing along, you're, gonna, you're not going get, get, get to get great gas mileage. So if your fuel costs are just getting out of hand, you can't afford it. It's, it every time you go to the pump, it's like 50 to 100 bucks, and, and it's just really taking a bite out of you, then you might want to consider a different type of RV. Now, number three. This is a big one, and um, I actually had a problem with this in my original RV. It's not the thing that made me change because a fire, a fire forced me to change. But um, if you've got a leak, if you just have a leak somewhere, and every time it rains, water gets in, you can't figure out where it's coming from. The RV techs just, they've done everything. They've patched everything up. They've caulked everything, but you just can't figure out where it's coming from. And what's going to happen is the water is going to wreak havoc. It's going to destroy your motorhome or your RV or your trailer, whatever it is. It's going to destroy it. There's going to be mold. There's going to be just everything's going to be ruined. If you just can't figure it out and you've put so much time and energy and effort into it, it might be time to say, you know, we can't figure this out. I don't want water to eat up my entire RV. And water just damages a lot of stuff. So it might be time to get rid of it, and trade in something that, is more, doesn't leak, leak proof. Number four, if you find that there's just not enough space in your RV, um, your motorhome or whatever, and when I say RV, I just, it's a generic term for everything. Or maybe things have changed and there's too little, uh, there's um, either not enough space or there's too much space, I should say, too much space. Maybe your kids are off getting married and things like that, and you're, it's just your empty nesters, and you just don't need the room that you once had. It might be time to start looking for a different type of RV. Number five, and this has happened to some people that I know, um, you get banned from campgrounds. You pull up there, you make a reservation, you pull up, and for some reason, your RV is just so ugly or so old, or so wrecked up, or such an eyesore, 
that they say, we're, we're sorry, you can't stay here. Now, somebody asked me a short time ago, he was afraid to buy an older RV because he thought that if an RV is somewhere in the seven to 10 year old range, you're not allowed in campgrounds at all. That's actually not true. Our RV is a, um, it's a, it's a in case you don't know, it's a pleasure way, XLTS, and it's, um, it's a 2006, which makes it 13 years old. It looks like it just came off the showroom floor. We keep it in great condition. It looks good. It looks new. We've never had a problem at a campground. But if you do pull up to a campground and they just take a look and say, nah, nah, we don't think so, then it might be time to consider a new RV. Um, number six, if repairs, constant repairs are just nickeling and diming you to death, it just starts costing a lot of money every month to get this thing repaired. And it's starting to eat away at, you know, it's, it's, it's valued at a certain amount, but your repairs are just is almost costing more than the thing is worth. You might want to consider getting rid of it and getting something that is not, so, you know, doesn't take so much money in repairs. Now, again, I do love used. I, I, I know when you buy something and there's no guarantee, even when you have a new RV, it's going to need something. It's going to need repairs. There's no such thing as an RV that needs no repair. There's no such thing. But if yours is just getting to the point where it's always something happening and you know when that is, it might be time to get that new RV. Number seven, if you feel that your RV is no longer safe or reliable. Safety is super, super, super important. If you just feel that every time you get in it and drive down the road, whether it's the steering that's not tight, trucks are blowing you all over the place, it was a windy day, you're just, you feel like you're out of control. If you just feel like something's not right with your RV and, and, and safety is a concern, you know, our safety, our health, our lives, there's really nothing more important than that. So that's definite reason definite reason to consider getting a new RV. Number eight, you're going to love this one. If people laugh at you as you're going down the road or when you stop to fuel up at gas stations, if people are pointing and laughing and making fun of you. Well, I don't, to me, it doesn't really matter what other people think, but if, if your rig is in such crazy weird shape that everybody's pointing and laughing, you might want to consider changing. Who knows? There might be something wrong with it. And that's why people are doing this. So there's usually a reason why people are, <laughs> look at that thing. <laughs> He's driving that. That's horrible. But if you love it, if you love it, it doesn't matter. But you might want to think about it. Number nine. Hmm. Got to stay hydrated. Number nine is that you financed your RV and you're having a tough time making the payments. So go back and, and look at some of my older videos, some of my uh, previous videos. I shouldn't say older, they're not necessarily old, but previous videos, and I talk extensively about only buying something that you can afford to pay cash for, and I'm really a stickler on that. So if all you can afford, if all you can afford is a $10,000 rig, that's what I want you to get. I don't want you buying a $100,000 or an $80,000 rig and financing it and making payments. I know I'm going to get pushback on this. I always do. People call me weird names like I'm an elitist and things like that. But look, the deal, if this goes for anything in life. If you can't afford something, don't buy it. So if you finance it and you find you're just underwater, you can't make the payments, things are tight, figure out a way to unload it and get something that you can actually afford. You're going to feel so much better going down the road if that's the case. And number 10 is, it's a little bit out there, but if you have a feeling in your gut, if you have a feeling in your gut somewhere, and it la not just one or two times, not just once or twice or for a week, but if it lasts nine months or more, you've gone nine months and you just have a gut feeling that this is not the right RV for you, then you know something? It might be time. But just don't go buying a new RV on a whim. You saw one of the camp brownies. Oh, I love that. We're going to trade. No. Try to stay in yours as long as you can, as long as it's working and serviceable for you. Don't, trading RVs and moving around an RV, moving up and down, it's, just, it's not great economically, financially. It's just not a good move. So find something that is right for you, you like, and try to stay in it as long as you can. But if you meet one or more of these little signs, then it might be time. It might be time. I hope you like this. Um, I always welcome your likes, your comments, uh, questions, whatever you may have. And of course, 
I love it when you subscribe. If you like what you hear, subscribe. Because I've got a lot more ideas coming to you. And plus, look through my vast video, vast, not video, vast um, library of past videos that I've done on RVing. Check them out. I am Dr. Dave. I'm known as the RV Dummy. Again, the RV Dummy, just because, admittedly, I don't know everything. We're all dumb in many things. I'm certainly not an expert, but I know enough. I know enough to help a lot of people out. And that's what I've been doing for about two years now. So join me. Thanks for watching this. Again, give me a like, give me a comment, give me a question, subscribe, and I will talk to you soon. And I always say love to you. I do love you. See you later. Bye.